So I'm working in DaVinci Resolve yesterday and I saw this button. I'm like, what is that button? That's new. I haven't seen that before. It's like, what does that do? So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna make a video about it, show you guys what it is, where it is, and uh, maybe it's something you haven't seen yet either. And it might even be new in 19 beta four, cause I don't remember seeing it. And usually I'm not that slow on picking up on stuff, but uh, let's jump in Resolve. I'm gonna show you what it is and what it does. So I'm in Resolve and I was working on a little project and I had the inspector open and I looked right up here and I was like, wait a second, what is that little button right there? I don't know what that is. And I noticed it says track if I hover on it. We have this one that says clip and this one that says track. So if I select any piece of, uh, you know, audio here on an audio track, and then I come up here and select the track option, it's going to show me my track level effects that are new here in DaVinci Resolve 19. Now you used to have to like kind of click over here, right on the, the track area, which like you didn't know if you were actually selecting the track, unless maybe you came over here and selected it that way. And when I do that, you can see I do get the uh, some of the options right here. But if I were to select a particular clip and then come over here to the track option in the inspector, now we've got all of our tools here, the ducker, the remixer, dialogue separator, dialogue leveler, and the voice isolation. Now, if you don't have studio, you're not gonna see all the options here. So this is a little button just allows you to use the track level effects by selecting a clip, right? And it's gonna apply it to your entire track there. Now I thought maybe, just maybe, it would apply it to just your clip. For example, like this music clip here. When I select it, maybe it would apply just to the music clip if I use the track option up here, but it's not the case there. It actually does apply it to the entire track. So keep that in mind. You're not able to use, for example, the uh, you know music remixer on only one clip in a track. It's gonna be a track level effect. Same with the ducker. Uh, or, you know, the dialogue separator or any of these other ones. They're going to be track level. Now, voice isolation, you can use, you know, on a clip by clip basis if you want it. So if, for example, I have my music clip selected and I'm on the little clip section right here, notice I do have voice isolation, I do have dialogue leveler, and I do have music remixer. So those tools you can use on a clip by clip basis. But if you want to use the other tools, and we come to the track level here. So that would be the ducker and the dialogue separator. Those you need to use on a track level. So just a, a cool handy way where you can kind of flip back and forth between the clip using this icon right here and the entire track using this icon. You can go back and forth and you'll notice you can apply voice isolation on the entire track or on just one clip or on both. So with these three tools here, it looks like you can use them twice, right? Once on a clip, once on a track, it almost like layers up those effects there. So so there's always cool little things like that that uh, we're stumbling on or I'm stumbling on here in DaVinci Resolve. I try to read through the little, uh, you know, update list there that they put out. But uh, sometimes, you know, I don't catch it in uh, this little button. I was like, hey, what is that? That's kind of cool. What does it do? So that's what that button does there to come in handy for you. Uh, just being able to use those track level effects here in DaVinci Resolve. And I forgot to mention, I was in the edit tab. I'm always in the edit tab. For me, no reason to go into the cut tab there. But actually, if you go into uh, Fairlight, let me just check that real quick. Fairlight, we've got the same button there too. So you can see there's our, uh, our, our track level and our clip. So you can flip back and forth there. You select the clip between the track and the clip. So, uh, you know, it works Fairlight, works in the edit page, and uh, yeah, it just makes it a little bit easier to access those tools and make sure you're getting the right thing that you want to get. So that is today's video, guys. As I stumble on more new stuff here in 19, keep making videos for you guys because that's how we learn, right? We stumble on stuff, we try things, and uh, we're able to just share with each other what you learn, what I learn, figure this thing out together. And uh, with that said, guys, that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Camera's too far away, but all right, see ya.